Namaste. So what are the tests that we do when we suspect diabetes? The most common test that people seem to be doing would be a random blood sugar level. A random blood sugar level commonly known as an RBS can be done both on a glucometer as well as in a regular lab but most people tend to do it on a glucometer. So how relevant or how accurate is an RBS? With an RBS it is impossible for us to diagnose diabetes or decide the treatment plans. A random blood sugar at best can be used as a screening tool in the sense when you need to screen a large number of people then perhaps a random blood sugar could be used. But for the sake of diagnosis, alone, diagnosis, a random blood sugar alone might not be enough. So what do we do? What are the main tests? There are three of them. That's a fasting blood sugar level, a fasting which is defined as no caloric intake for at least 8 to 10 hours. In other words, you are allowed to take water. So whenever you need to do a fasting blood sugar, you need to uh, keep away from food or any caloric content for at least 8 to 10 hours but you can drink plain water and you need to get your blood sugar tested. So as long as they are under, uh, uh, under 100, you are normal. Anything between 101 to 125 is considered pre-diabetic and anything above 126 is diabetic. So what is postprandial? That is two hours from the time of having the first meal or the first bite of the meal. That is the uh, postprandial blood sugar level. So the postprandial blood sugar level as of now should be less than 200 milligrams and there are some studies which say 160 would be more ideal but uh, recent uh, data says that up to 200 is all right and what is the hba1c the normal hba1c is less than 5.6 i'll be coming up with another short episode on hba1c alone for the time being this would suffice thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe namaste